Today we're going to research some animals. So I clicked a link that took me to the San Diego Zoo kids website. And this is where I found a bunch of different animals that we could research. So if you scroll down from this home page, you could see that there are choices of animals. There's also some really cool things to watch down here, but for right now, stick to these circles. You can choose between amphibians, arthropods, birds, fish, mammals, and reptiles. So you can look through all of these and choose an animal. I'm going to choose something in the mammals category. So once again, once you click on mammals or whatever group that you choose, you can scroll down and try to look for an animal that looks really interesting to you. And maybe it could be an animal that you've never heard of before or an animal that you might have heard of but you don't know much about. There's lots of choices on this page, so you can keep scrolling down to make sure you look at all of them before you make your choice. I already looked through this, and I think the one that looked the most interesting to me was the snow leopard. So after I looked through all of the pictures and looked at all of the different animals to choose from, I clicked on snow leopard. Now, this whole page is going to give me information about the snow leopard. Remember, I'm looking for what my animal eats, where my animal lives, what my animal looks like, and some fun facts about my animal. So when I'm talking about what my animal looks like, I can use the pictures on this page. I can tell that the animal looks like a cat with two ears, a pink nose, two light eyes, some light grayish brownish fur with black markings. These are all things I could write down or draw on my organizer. If I keep scrolling down, I can see more information. Its type, where it lives in the world, its endangered status, and some fact cards. So this will be useful for what my animal looks like. Its size, 39 to 51 inches. This will be useful for what my animal eats. It's a carnivore, so it eats meat. I'll write that down on my piece of paper. I could click this button with the arrow to find out more about what my animal eats. Over here, habitat tells us where our animal lives. So my animal lives in the mountains, snowy high altitudes. Once again, I can click here to find out more about where my animal lives. So once I've copied down some of this information, I can keep scrolling down. Here's a description. So this will give me a little bit more information about what my animal looks like. It's another picture too that I can use. Looks like it has really big paws. Look at the size of those paws. And it says the snow leopard's smoky gray color and blurred black markings make it look very different. That's something I could also write down on what my animal looks like. If I keep scrolling down, I see something about where snow leopards live. They live at very high elevations where there are steep cliffs. And I probably already knew this because of their name, but it looks like they live in the snow and spend a lot of time in the snow, doesn't it? I can tell that from their name, from the picture, and from this description here. So keep scrolling down and find out more about your animal. And then when you get to the very bottom of the page, there's some fun facts. So these are all facts that I could copy down onto my fun facts section. There's a lot of facts that you can copy up in all of these sections too, but right here, easy peasy. I have two interesting facts. A snow leopard can cover 50 feet in one leap. Wow, that's exciting. So I'll write that down as my fun fact. Good luck picking out your animal and writing down all the things that you learn about it.